and welcome to today's lesson where I'm going to be teaching you all about symmetry. Symmetry is a concept that is found in geometry when we are learning about mathematics. When we say something is symmetrical, it means one side is exactly the same as the other side. We also say it is a mirror image. So sometimes we find symmetrical things, they have a line that goes vertical, and sometimes it goes diagonal, sometimes it goes horizontal. And that line is called the line of symmetry. So when we fold our object, you can see that the one side is exactly the same as the other side. We can find symmetrical objects in buildings, animals, letters, as well as objects around our homes. Some letters also have symmetrical lines. As you can see, Y has a vertical line, B has a horizontal line, X has both horizontal and vertical line of symmetry. And some letters do not have any line of symmetry. So your challenge is to go around and see if you can find more letters and fi figure out which line of symmetry do they have. For today's project, I'm going to be showing you how to make your own symmetrical butterfly as well as your snowflake. First, you are going to need some paper, a pair of scissors, and of course, a marker. For your butterfly, you need to fold your page in half. You then need to draw your butterfly on the edge where you have folded, not the open side. So you can draw your butterfly like this, the head, neck, and some wings. You can draw any type of wings that you would like your butterfly to have. As long as it's symmetrical, you then need to cut out your lines that you have drawn. Try and cut neatly on the line and you may want to add some uh, antennas for your butterflies. It's all up to you. So here's my completed butterfly. You can then go ahead and add some details to make it symmetrical. Remember, one, whatever you do on one side, you need to do it on the other side as well. So now I'm going to show you how to make a symmetrical snowflake. You first need to make a square shape by cut, folding and cutting your page like this. You then need to fold your page again and again. Once you are done, you can then cut any shape that you would like. Remember, you only cut on the folded side, not on the open side. So I'm going to cut a few triangles, rectangles, more triangles this side, and perhaps another rectangle. When you open it up, you can see you have made a beautiful symmetrical snowflake. 
Now go ahead and see if you can find and make your own symmetrical pictures at home, like how I have made my picture like this. You can also get some pictures from the magazine and draw the other side. I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson and goodbye.